Okay, okay, okay. Before you burn me alive, shoot me, and then lynch me, hear me out, people. Just, just listen to me, okay? Fire Pro Online Showdown main event was so underwhelming to the point I didn't even know what else to fucking say. That match was garbage. Okay? It was garbage. Okay. I see you trying to put that gun up and shoot me, but hear me out. This is just my opinion, all right? The match itself wasn't that good. It wasn't that bad either, too. It was just one-sided as fuck. Like, it was a one-sided fight to the point that I was like, this motherfucker Mateo was world champion? The fuck? <laughs> well, we have seen squash matches that caused the world, former world champion look like shit. But that's besides the point. What I'm, tr- what I'm trying to get at you is that the length of a match doesn't make the match good. It doesn't make the match go, holy shit, or this is awesome. You can have a 45-minute match that looks so boring as hell that the people won't people leave or fall asleep during a fucking match. Like, I get it. This is a PvP fed. It's not choreography. It's not simulated. It's PvP. They want to win. They do some dumb shit in the match. Miss a couple shit. They want to do this and that, but they can't do it. PvP, I give you some lenient things because player versus player always ends up in either a clusterfuck of a match or a fucking god-level match. Apparently, this ma- match came in a clusterfuck category. The people who, who did the match, it's not their fault. It's not their fault. It's just the fact that it's PvP and it's a game and it's Fire Pro and uh, you need to be at a certain amount of step to do a standing mo- standing fucking drop kick or some shit. But damn. This match doesn't go in the worst category. It goes in a in underwhelming category. I'll be honest with you. I was kind of like I want to see this match. And then they tell me it's freaking 45 minute Iron Man. I'm like, what? But, look, I like wrestling. I love wrestling. I've seen some good wrestling matches, my guy. I love Fire Pro. I love Fire Pro Efez. I've seen some good Fire Pro matches, my guy. It just, unfortunately, this match didn't make it on my list. Like, a long match doesn't make it a good match. A long match makes it either boring, a clusterfuck, a train wreck, an accident, or just something. To make a long match a good match, you gotta have storytelling. You gotta have the spirit. You have to legitimately build up yourself. Build up the match. Start off small, go with medium, and then hit him with the hard hard God's rights. Which is Kano's sucker punch. <laughs> but, um... It's just a fact that, like, this Fed has so much potential. I'll be honest with you. I like Fire Pro Online. It's a good show when it wants to be a good show, but some of the matches be like, what the fuck is this shit? For example, Stitch versus his manager. Stitch versus Parker. Whatever the fuck that white t-shirt bastard name is. Thomas, I think his name is. But that was a one-sided fight. I hate one-sided matches. I really do. I do not like one-sided matches. It is, it's stupid. It's fucking dumb. And it's just like... What? 
it could be one sided if it's if it's a storytelling. Then I'll understand. But this isn't but this match, Mateo versus Lucas Levette was one sided and underwhelming. I'll be honest with you. There were some spots that got me like Mateo might come back. Then the motherfucker got killed. <laughs> Not literally killed, but like, you know what I mean? Just hypothetically. Then this motherfucker got destroyed. That's better. Look. Fire Pro Online, Tahano X, if, you, if you're watching this. World Flush, if you're watching this. Or, or anybody who's in the fucking community of WCC and fucking Fire Pro Online watching this. You can hate me all you want. I give you my honest opinion. My my opinion is not the be all end all of everything. I have to remind people of that because people been taking shit too hard. I don't want that to happen. But for real, for real, it's just the fact that like this match was just something. Like. They're supposed to have a tag division, a women's division, and a main event division. Look, you literally, I, he's not buried, okay? Mateo's not buried, thank God. It's just the fact Mateo got destroyed, and he was a former champion. That's my issue. He was a former champion, and this motherfucker got killed in the ring. I don't, I want a former champion to look, to look like a beast, look like a, look like a freaking, not, not like a god, but a, but a demigod, look like a freaking good wrestler, you want an example of a fucking clusterfuck of a match that literally just dumb as hell, that's worse than this, Zack Roper versus Candle 2 at World Classic. That match was fucking horrible. That has to be one of the worst Kano matches and Zachary matches I've ever seen in my fucking life. I'm not going to defend anybody in that match. All I'm going to say is that match was shit. Not because Kano lost. It's because how the match went out. It It had potential. The first few minutes in game has potential then spam, spam, kick out, kick out, spam, spam, dead. Now where the fuck's my tea at? Because I need to drink something. But yeah. Worst match ever? Yes, sir. And I had... And, and Zach and Kano, when they had a fight... It had potential to be one of the best fucking matches. But no, no, but no, that shit didn't happen, though. But we ain't talking about them. We're talking about motherfucking Mateo versus Lucas LeVette. And Fire Pro Online itself. Fire Pro Online, good fed. It's just that I don't like PvP at all. But one fucking thing I do want to say before I go... If you want better matches, don't come to me. The reason why I said that is because I'm not the be all end all. Don't come to me asking for how to make a good match. I might give you my advice, but I'm not going to tell you. I might end up accidentally telling you and shit because sometimes my word doesn't make any sense to my own damn self. But anyways... I just want to say this. That match had potential to be one of the best matches of all time, but it didn't happen. The length of the match was the problem. It's so dragged out that it gets boring after a while. A length of a match can make or break a sh- make or break a match. It could be the best match ever, or it could be the Boring-ass match ever. 
That traps you to cry with Trent, but this is awesome. They're fucking wrong and dumb. Dang it, I'm not in kayfabe. I shouldn't be saying that. But, like, um... <laughs> but... It doesn't deserve a... This is awesome chant. It deserves nothing. But goddamn silence. And shock and, and awe. Okay, so... I just want to say... If I ever join Fire Pro Online, I'm not joining as a wrestler. The reason why, because I can't, because PvP, I'm going to get either worked up or I'm going to end up doing a shitty ass match. Because of my timing is terrible. Unless it's against a CPU, my timing is shit. <laughs> but that's just me. If you if y'all guys want me to review Showdown, please comment below. I might do a podcast today or do some motherfucking super show commentary and some pre recording of my latest turbo. Well, not latest to my next turbo show, N A W Turbo Show, and um yeah. So I gotta drink some water and get my voice ready to yell and yell, scream and cuss and fuss, and yeah. That's basically what I'm gonna do. So, so, thank you for watching. I want to know your opinions, okay? I want to know you, 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 and after you, opinions. I might, if I could remember this, I might end up putting the show in the description below, and I want y'all to watch it. And then come back to me, not saying that I was right, but but just what you think about the main event. I ain't up my doing a figure on showdown for review. I might end up doing that. But I want y'all to literally just give me what y'all think about the main event or, or the show in general. And then come back, and then, but not come back to me, the fuck? Damn it, I fucked it up. Okay, I might put the show in the description below. Watch it. Come back to me. Tell me what you think about the show. And yeah, that's what we see it. <laughs> Alright guys, this is Mal with my two cents in. And no, and a lot of money in, in, in the swear jar. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.